I just purchased a new vehicle. How can I keep my fuel injector nozzles clean? Add ZMAX to your fuel system and oil every 6,000 miles. ZMAX has the ability to soak into the metal and improve surface lubrication, which helps to keep deposits from building up on your injector nozzles in gasoline and diesel fuel systems. This pre-treat system is also good for all of the components of your engine in order to prevent carbon buildup in the future. This tip is brought to you by ZMAX. Performance you can feel. Now this is good because it'll tie it all together, yeah, you know, dude, and everything definitely. will be all set. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. Today it's all about trailer brakes. Now let's recap on a little bit that's already done, shall we? Yes. We've got the max brake system that's in the truck ready to go. We have got the new disc brakes right there from Kodiak. They're on the trailer. They're all ready. Now it's time to install the brake right actuator from Titan. Yeah, it's like our translator. What it's doing is taking that signal from the brake controller, taking the 12 volt signal that's going through that blue wire, right. feeding it over to here, our actuator. And what that actuator is doing is taking the 12 volt signal, turning it into hydraulic pressure. Now, what it does is the harder you press on the brake pedal, what it's going to do is send more voltage through. The more voltage that comes into here, the more hydraulic pressure that comes out. And out of here, it goes to your disc brake assembly. And it makes things nice and simple. You know, if you've ever done any kind of retro job at all, you know that you're opening yourself up to a potential nightmare of wiring. Well, Spaghetti those man. days are over with this system. This is simple plug and play and it's done. Man, they take really all the difficult part out. Yeah, it's nice these weather pack connectors and also it's nice that they're all keyed so it only goes in one way. So these are going to handle, you know, wet situations where you won't have corrosion, any kind of that, you won't lose your connection. Right, now two batteries right here, so that's good. You know the DOT regulates that if uh, your breakaway switch comes apart and the truck and trailer get separated, that it's got to be able to hold the trailer there for 15 minutes. So this, the, the extra batteries there will hold it. That should get the wife and the kids and the dog and the cash out of the trailer. And then you head for the set. hills. Exactly. I'm going to so. head to the front and get this thing installed. All right, man. If you need a hand, let me know. All right, it's time to put the last pieces in place of our puzzle here with the brake right system. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and mount the brain up on the side of the trailer wall here. Now, we've got one of the holes already drilled, actually a couple of them, one of the screws in place. Now, the whole thing is you want to keep it close to where we're going to mount your actuator box so everything will line up and the plugs will all work. That should hold that there. Now, when it comes to our actuator, we have to go ahead and make up a little plate here, a mounting bracket. Now the holes here correspond with one of the two different sets of mounting holes they've got on this actuator, which is nice because it gives you both options. Now this reservoir itself is really nice because it's a really large capacity and it's going to compensate for any brake pad wear itself, even on triple axle trailers. It's also a nice feature. These guys really thought things through. They've got two different filling points, so if you're in a tight spot and you can't get the one, you can always top it off on the other. So that plate will go up on the frame and those same holes will correspond and go into the actual reservoir. You make one connection here up into the brain of the unit and then you'll go ahead and tie in our um, hydraulic fluid going back to our brake assembly. It's really that simple. So now that everything's locked down and where it needs to be, we can get up under here and finish wiring it all in. So it looks like we've got a lot going on, but it's not that bad, really. I mean, this is going to the plug over there on the hitch. No big deal. We've got some wires hanging here. We've already got the ground taken care of on the white. We've got the hot wire coming in on the black. You've got your turn signals. Here's that little blue wire that sends the voltage to the brain of the whole system. That's what we've been talking about all day long. So that's going to go on there in just a second. Then we've got our breakaway switch. So that's there. I'll wire that in and I'll mount that up right over here. Soon as I get all that buttoned up and dialed in, this job is almost done. 